What's up guys, Mega Man here, and Eurogamer has interviewed the game director and creative director of Insomniac Games, and they talked about a few things here and there, so let's talk about what was mentioned. First up, they talked about Genki's app. When a citizen reports to the app, it'll get to Miles instantly and order it in such a way that the player can understand it. That way you can see what the distance is or how far away it is in the city, and you get an idea if it's a quest or an activity. They have invested in their quests to make sure that quests themselves actually have a continuous storyline. So when you start and go into these quests across the game, new ones open up and they tell sort of a side story that goes along with the main story. When it comes to Miles' fights, some of them may not be easy. They mention how Roxanne learns about Miles' bioelectric attacks and they start designing tech to counter that. For example, there could be a Roxanne shield guy and Miles uses a bioelectric venom punch. They can absorb that into the shield and redirect it back. So they're trying to push the high tech nature of them and their reaction to Miles as he's growing. That's pretty interesting, so you'll have to think in different ways and use different attacks to be able to defeat certain enemies. In the interview, they had asked about Miles' uncle Aaron, and nothing was said about him. They didn't talk too much about him. But, yesterday Insomniac had posted another text message video, and it was Miles messaging his mom. But if you would've went to PlayStation Instagram story, as you see right there in one of his contacts, it is his uncle Aaron. What do you all think? Do you think he'll play a role in this game? There was a question asked about the swinging in the game and they said that the story and the gameplay is about his growth and learning to be Spider-Man. So you kind of get that feel of how to do this in terms of the traversal and the combat moves while keeping the controls right. Also, they added in a whole suite of new tricks and deepened the system that they established within Spider-Man. Both of Miles' powers were brought up. The Venom Punch causes Venom stun to enemies on impact in the game and those stun enemies take bonus damage from basic attacks. The Venom Punch caused Venom power to perform and to build that up either by attacking or dodging. They said it won't make Miles invincible as his enemies will find a way to counter it. Camouflage is when Miles can go invisible for short periods of time and Eurogamer said when they played the game a little bit it runs on a short timer once activated so you have to use this skill carefully. It can be used mid-fight to buy Miles a little bit more time to change things up. One of the gadgets that was mentioned was Gravity Well that can drag enemies into an area of effect and bring them together to a certain point for Miles to chain into a combo with the Venom Punch. Comment below what are some of your thoughts about the interview and if you watched the interview, what did you think about some of the gameplay that they showed? Thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe, stay tuned for future gaming updates, and I'll see you guys in the next video.